accurate weather on NBC10 Boston, Boston's most accurate forecast. All right, everyone, just a quick reminder, we are waiting for President Biden to speak. But till then, let's get a quick check of the forecast with our Pamela Gardner. PG, what's hey it like there. over there? Yeah, we're looking at the tropics. Colton, there's still Raphael. So this storm really intensified quickly as a Category 3, and it did make landfall yesterday across Cuba. And this was the track of the storm as it meandered across Cuba, made landfall as a Cat 3 there, and then the red line indicating a Category 2. That's where it is right now. We do see some of those outer bands, a little bit of rain, and even some rough surf across parts of Key West and the southwestern coastline of Florida. Over the coming days, this will meander and track farther to the south across the Gulf of Mexico. So even Tuesday morning, it looks like we have no impact from that storm system whatsoever. It was looking a couple days ago like we could see some enhanced rainfall from it, but that's not the case now going forward. So we need the rain, but we're not getting it. We still have an increased threat for fire weather danger today and going forward. Low humidity, the dry brush, and some locations locally may have poor air quality today due to the smoke in the sky. That's going to be locations along the North Shore, up through even Cape Ann, where the wind, where you have a brush fire in Saugus, uh, that is being blown to the east and towards the coastline there. So the winds are strong between 30 and 35 miles per hour, so there's still the chance to see some of those wildfires spreading very rapidly for today. Yesterday, we had those record high temperatures. Today's warm, but it's not going to be record breaking. Yesterday, we had 82 in Boston, Worcester, Concord, Hartford, Providence, Portland, Maine even set daily record highs in, up in Portland. It was 79 degrees. So that was fantastic. A nice little break and a little surprise. Maybe our last chance to experience such intense heat for us here in the Northeast this time of the year. It was a beach day yesterday. Maybe a beach day today too. 70 degrees in Boston. These are our current temperatures and we're running more like the later part of September versus the start of November. And through the rest of today, we stay in the 60s, falling into the 50s. It will be be a cooler evening forecast with a clear sky. And so tonight we drop into the 40s. Make sure you have the heat turned on just in case because it will be a cool start to the day tomorrow. Then we get up into the mid 60s. Still about 10 degrees warmer than the average temp this time of the year. We should be in the mid 50s. And tomorrow it turns windy. We also have another system moving in too. For now on First Alert Live Radar, lots of clouds around the area, but there was a cold front that pushed through yesterday. That's why we're running about 12 degrees colder in Boston versus tomorrow, we have a, another cold front. So that's going to help to reinforce our cool temperatures, getting us into the 50s as we slowly drop those temps. Saturday and Sunday, highs in the 50s, but both mornings will be a little crispy with some areas of patchy frost. Our next chance for rain, this moves in from the Midwest, and we have a cold front extending from it. So our temperature trend is not going to go so wacky up and down with this warm front and then the cold front. It's about this rain chance. We have these scattered showers rolling through late Sunday into Monday. So Veterans Day starts off soggy in some spots, but it looks like overall about two-tenths of an inch of rain. It's not going to be enough to calm things down completely with our wildfire danger, but every little bit helps. And so hopefully we'll uh, we'll get some rain from that storm system Sunday into Monday. And then 60s and another dry stretch Tuesday, Wednesday next week. All right.